My name is Marit van Engen. I'm a pick consultant in the Netherlands. Maybe you know me from the books Pig Signals, Sows and Piglets. In this video I will show you how to profit from a better observation. On most pig farms the production runs well, but people on the farm are so-called farm blind. This means that they unconsciously found reasons why things do not work in this farm as it should be. If we look well and observe the animals well, we can recognize many signals and react quickly. The animals depend on us. They show with their behavior how they're doing. Are the animals doing fine or can we improve things? Listen what this Swiss pig farmer has to say about it. I think that's so enormous wichtig that du weisst, wie sie funktionieren und dass du auch weisst, wann ist ein Tier gesund, wann fährt es an Kränkeln und wann musst du etwas machen. Also weil die sind von dir abhängig, weil sie können sich ja nicht via verbal ähm, sich mitteilen, sondern sie haben die einzige Chance, ist ihre Körperhaltung. Und das ist unsere Verpflichtung, finde ich. Also wir haben ja die Tiere hier zum Pflegen, zum Wachsen. Also ist das auch uns, dass wir denen gut schauen. Here is an example of the lying behavior of the piglets. You can see the piglets lying on top of each other in the corner of the pen. What do you think? Probably something is wrong with the temperature or the climate. What do you do? You need to hang the lamp lower. However, if you see the piglets lying next to each other with stretched legs side by side, then you know that everything is right and you do not have to do anything. In order to better recognize all the signals that the animals show, you can change the routine procedures. For example, during your check on the pigs, if you usually start with the right pen, just start at the left and you will see quite different things. How do you actually control the pigs? Do you do this during feeding? That's good, because food is the biggest motivator for pigs. If they do not want to eat, something definitely is going wrong. But if you observe the animals only during eating, you will not see the first signals, only when it's too late. Or do you watch the pigs during resting? This is easier if the room has a door with windows. When you get in, you can see the difference in behavior. Or do you walk through the corridor and make noise in each pen? Then you can see whether the pigs are active or if they're lame. In the following, I would like to give you a few examples of pig signals. At the left, you can see a piglet with a wound on the side of the head. This is a signal for too little milk production of the sow. The piglets fight for the teeth and thereby push with their foreknees on the floor. As a result, these piglets often have wounds on the front legs. This fattening pig sits like a dog. Does it want to get up or does it feel uncomfortable? If the pig has pleuritis, caused by APP, the pig would sit with the legs wide apart, breathing carefully, since this information is very painful. When observing the animals, the focus is to see the signals as early as possible, so that no major problems arise. For this animal, an early intervention would be possible if one had recognized the signals early. In this animal, the inflammation is already too advanced. Using pig signals you can recognize problems earlier. You can change the management and ask the question is everything going well or could it be better? And yes, it could always be better by looking, then thinking and finally acting. 